how to use and make the most of graphical objects in presentations. This lesson looks at preparing the presentation outputs. In all, there are eight different topics in this lesson. The first topic looks at transition effects between slides, and the second topic looks at animation effects. We'll then look at adding and using presenter notes. The next four topics deal with hiding or showing slides in a presentation, checking the spelling in a presentation, changing the slide setup, and printing a presentation. The last topic shows you how to start a slideshow. When a presentation switches abruptly from one slide to the next, it can seem unnatural and clumsy to the audience. Adding transitions between slides gives a presentation a sense of flow and control. You can also use transitions to stimulate audience interest, emphasize a point, or separate ideas. So it's certainly useful to know how to add a transition. And here's how. Click on the slide that you want to add transition effects to. Next, click on the Transitions tab on the ribbon. Now click on the downward arrow for more, which will show you the entire range of available transition effects. Now click and select whichever transition effect you want. And now the chosen transition effect has been added to the slide. Adding animation effects is a great way to liven up a presentation and to really catch an audience's attention. With most presentation applications, you have a wide range of animation opportunities and you can incorporate animation effects into almost anything, including tables, images and graphical objects. Adding animation is easy. Just follow these steps. Click on a slide and then select the element where you want to add animation effects. Next, click on the Animations tab on the ribbon. Just as you did before, click now on the downward More arrow which will display the range of available animation effects. Now simply select whichever animation effect you want. This adds the animation effect. Using presenter or speaker notes is a great way to deliver a polished, assured and confident presentation. Although you, the presenter, can see and read the notes while giving the presentation, the audience sees a notes-free presentation. It's like having a private auto cue. Follow these steps to add presenter notes to your presentation. Start by clicking on the slide that you want to add notes to. Next, click on the Notes button, which you can see is at the very bottom of the screen. Click on the Click to Add Notes banner that appears. Now simply type in whatever notes you want to add. Remember, whatever you write will only be visible to you. Some presentation applications give you the option to hide certain slides, but still keep them in the presentation. This can be useful if you want to tailor your presentation to a certain audience, or create a shortened version of your presentation if time is an issue. And this is how to hide a slide. Start by selecting the slide that you want to hide. 
click on the Slideshow tab on the ribbon. Now click on the Hide Slide button to hide the selected slide. The selected slide will now not appear in the presentation. When you're giving a presentation, you certainly don't want there to be any spelling or grammar mistakes. Spelling and grammar mistakes can distract your audience from the main point of the presentation. Fortunately, most presentation applications include a tool that checks the content for spelling and grammatical errors. Some also offer suggestions for improvements. To spell check a document, follow these steps. Start by selecting the Review tab on the ribbon. Click on the Spelling button. The presentation will be checked for spelling mistakes. If there are mistakes, the tool will suggest corrections. You will be given the option to either accept the suggestion or to ignore it. The ability to change a slide's orientation and setup is a very useful feature that most presentation applications offer. You can also change paper size. This is important because you may need to adapt your presentation to widescreen technology, which is becoming more and more common. Change these features by following these steps. First, select the slide that you want to adjust. Next, click on the Design tab on the ribbon. Towards the far right-hand side, click on Slide Size. You'll be given the option of Standard, Widescreen or to customise it yourself. For the purposes of our illustration, click on the Custom Slide Size button. Select whatever orientation, width and height you want and then select the number of slides where you want this setup to begin. Finish by clicking OK. It's often useful to print your presentation or just individual slides. Perhaps you want a paper copy for your own records or to distribute to the audience. Presentation applications generally enable printing and also allow you to set your own printing configurations. Follow these steps to print a presentation. First, click on the File tab on the ribbon. Next, click on the Print button. Now we need to input some instructions. We only want one printed copy, so we'll leave the Copies box at 1. You can, though, print as many copies as you want. You can elect to either print all slides or to select the individual slides that you want to print. Also, click on the Displayed box to set the number of slides per page. It can be anything from one slide per page to nine slides per page. Finally, click on the Print button to print the presentation. Presentations are generally delivered in the form of a slideshow. Let's see now how to start a slideshow of a presentation. The quickest way to start a slideshow is to click the Slideshow button at the bottom of the screen. But there are other ways. Click on the Slideshow tab on the ribbon. This presents a range of options, including the option to begin the slideshow from the beginning or from the current slide. Click on From Beginning, which starts the presentation from the first slide. Click on From Current Slide, to run the slideshow from the current slide. Practical exercises
This lesson on preparing outputs was divided into eight topics. The first topic showed you how to add various transition effects between slides, which can make your presentation flow smoother and more naturally. The second topic demonstrated how to add animation effects, which helps liven up your presentation. The next topic focused on presenter notes, which help you give a more professional performance when delivering your presentation. The fourth topic demonstrated how to hide slides in your presentation. This can be extremely useful, particularly if you want to tailor your presentation to one audience's specific interests. We then looked at how to check a presentation for spelling and grammar mistakes. Topic number six showed you how to change a slide's orientation from normal to widescreen, as well as some other variations. The penultimate topic dealt with printing a presentation, and the final topic showed you how to begin the slideshow.